it's a very special moment. Um, with it being an icon of a different era uh, in aviation, it was the first corporate uh, jet or business jet in the class, and Lockheed Marietta was the you know production, so it's coming home. Production was uh, mostly in Marietta. We built 202 of them here, 204 total. And uh, as near as we can tell, this is the last of, uh, of about four that are still flying. That's what's special to me is that we as the museum, the Aviation History and Technology Center, get to be the permanent home for a piece of our community's heritage. Um, that's what's the most special thing, and to see it fly in, to see it um, such a, a beautiful, shiny aircraft. Um, we're very excited to be part of this, that we're honored. The Jetstar was the first executive transport. It actually predates the Learjet. Um, it was the result of an Air Force competition uh, for a new trainer and utility aircraft. Uh, the Air Force did buy some as C-140s, and they were used in the presidential fleet. And they also used some for airways facilities checking. Uh, the ones in the presidential fleet, the VC-140s, uh, were used by every president from Kennedy through Reagan. So at least for those flights, it was Air Force One. President Johnson was a big believer in the Jet Star because he could fly from Andrews uh, Air Force Base, Maryland, to his ranch in the hill country of Texas direct. He would actually land on his ranch. Uh, and the LBJ Museum actually has one of the other Jet Stars. The donor uh, has asked to remain anonymous, but they are out of Florida and they wanted it to be back in the community that built it. It is the heart of Cobb County. Uh, a lot of things in this county are because of aviation when it started here with Bell Bomber in 1942, and it's special because it's coming home, and a lot of Lockheed's employees are gathered here today. Um, a lot of our staff are out here and are very excited to, to present this to our community.